Okay, today we're going to fillet this flounder. I hate to see him suffer. I just caught this one. So what I do is, I just hold him with this fork in here and quickly right in front of that fin on an angle just quickly cut through and no suffering. We're going to retain the head and all the bones after we wash them off because we're going to make a fish stock. Now we're going to, I'm going to rinse this off and then come back to it. And there's very little to clean out on a flounder. That's it. Just discard that. And then we're going to pick it up and put a towel under it. First we're going to rinse this off. These guys are very slippery, so I put a towel underneath. And just make an incision. See where the center of the tail is? Forward. That's usually where the, the bone is that runs the length. Now you take your knife on an angle. Not cutting straight down, but on an angle. You feel the, the blade, there you feel the bone with the blade. And just follow, pressing downward like this with the blade. See? Not, never cutting into the bone. Pressing downward and pulling the knife towards you. So twist it there, the same thing. Press, pressing down on the bone. Not into the bone with the blade. And just follow it like that. up. There's one finished fillet. We're going to cut this off, this part right here, after we get the towel off the board. So I'll just reserve this. Spin it around. Do the same exact thing on this side. Pressing downward. See how cool? All you see is bone there, no meat. Pressing down. Get to the tail. Press. Pull it forward. You need a very sharp knife, and you have no problems with doing this. And we're gonna, I'm gonna be making, I'm not sure what I'm gonna make with this fish yet, but I will reserve the, the bones for a stock. So notice how it doesn't slide doing it this way. You see the line right there? Just cut right on the line. Oops, still a little motion in there. This guy is kicking. And we're going to do the same thing on this side. Well, this side the, the, is always less meat. It doesn't matter what side you start on. You could start, start on this side first or the other side. Same thing. Just follow. Pressing downwards and forward. There you go. And then the same thing with this piece over here. Okay, just let me finish trimming up this uh, this meat. There's the fillet. So this part you're not going to use, but you're not going to discard it. Put it in the pot. There's the bones. Look how nice and clean they are. There's no meat on there. Never throw these bones out. Make a stock with the head. So we finished trimming up this fillet. Now what do you want to do with this? If you're going to use this in making like a stew, you would slice pieces like this. I'll probably make a video of that tomorrow. If you're going to saute it, score the fish this way. This will keep the fish from curling on you. So let's say you're going to season this up maybe and put some cornmeal, season it, dip it in, whatever you're going to do, best to score it, the fish will stay like this. If you don't score it, when you cook it and saute it, it will start curling up on you. 
And we're going to take these pieces that are clean. You have to trim this off. And save this for the stock. What I do is I put them together like that. I'll wrap them up in saran wrap. Just put them in the refrigerator for t until tomorrow. Then tomorrow I'll decide what I'm going to do. And there you have it. Nice, clean, no bones. Fillet of flounder. And don't waste anything.